Hi, it's Cindy from Striven. Today we'll be reviewing processing applications for recruiting. Some of the highlights we'll be covering are the candidates list, application queue, communication tools, and recruiting dashboard. So let's get started on our journey inside Striven. We could go to employees. Under recruiting, we're first going to go to the recruiting dashboard. So this is a nice organized view of all of your open applications, along with the different positions you have available and how many candidates are still in progress within that particular job posting. You also have the recruiting steps. These are the default recruiting steps that you are able to change within the company settings. The numbers indicate how many candidates are within that particular step. If I wanted to, I could choose to click a particular step or a particular application and it will let me know those particular candidates in that step. If I would like to process applications for all of the candidates within my company, I can go to Employees and Process Applications. When I click Search, this will show an unfiltered view of all of the candidates that I have within my company. I have their name their job posting, the current step that they're on, the last step completed along with the date and time, any follow-up date, the location they're applying for, the last contact date, and their email. Within the hamburger menu, I have a few different options as well. I'm able to view their application, view their contact log, edit potential positions, mark their application as on hold, create an appointment, or close their application. The particular step that Laura is on is distance and salary check. So I am looking into how far away Laura lives from our headquarters location, along with looking into her salary requirements to make sure they align with what we are able to provide her. To do that, I can quickly click on this icon here, which will bring me to Google Maps and let me know how far away she lives from the headquarters location. So at most, she lives about 40 minutes away. If I wanted to, I could message Laura right from the screen about this particular application. I can mark this step as complete, or I can choose to skip it. If you choose to skip a step, you cannot undo. Since I did look into Laura's distance, and I looked into her salary as well, I can mark this particular step as complete. It'll ask me if I'm sure that I would like to mark this as complete. So I'll click yes, and then it moves her on to the next step in the process. Again, if you would like to change any of the steps, you are able to do so from the company settings page. Any questions, feel free to chat us up.